Photos of Philip Schofield's young boyfriend kissing Holly Willoughby on the cheek after an awards show have surfaced as ITV is being accused of once again covering up their relationship. In a sequence of photos, Holly and her producer husband Daniel Baldwin can be seen exiting the 2020-02 Arena National Television Awards in this, where this morning won the category for live magazine show. The young man approaches them and gives Holly, 42, a quick peck on the cheek before they get into waiting taxes. Phil, 61, and his wife Stephanie Lowe are spotted vaping close as Phil stays out of the conversation. Ten days before Schofield came out as homosexual, on January 28, 2020, the photos were shot. I have been coming to grips with the truth that I am homosexual, he said in an emotional Instagram post he published on February 7. With the strength and support of my wife and my daughters. A little while later, he discussed it with Eamon Holmes and Ruth Langsford live on this morning. The awkward relationship between Philip, Holly, and Eamon Woe at the time were all this morning present as Arabs earlier on January 2028 evening while they are posing for pictures. In the video, Philip is shown grinning for the cameras while holding Holly in his arms and the NTA gong in his palm. Eamon then tries to take the NTA gong from Philip's hand. The situation made their co-workers laugh. One of the numerous things that contributed to Eamon and Ruth turning against Schofield was the fact that they were both fired from this morning in November 2021. In an interview yesterday night, Eamon lambasted his former co-star, calling him deluded, and predicted that there will be other scandals. The host claims that IDV engaged in a total cover-up of the affair and that those in authority had to know about it since the guy would travel in taxes paid for by IDV between Schofield's flat and the studios. They would have seen it and known, he added of the company cabs from the star's house for his girlfriend. He then blasted IDV's executives for defending Phil and Holly over the young manual. It's a complete cover-up. Those in charge needed to be aware. They needed to be aware of what was happening and believed they could avoid danger, which they did and continue to do. On GB News, Dan Uten was asked if this signaled the end of Phil's controversies. I sit and wonder why Philip Schofield gave a statement to the Daily Mail, claiming that he lied, he stated. He lied to his agency, to IDV, to his co-workers, and to everyone else. Why did he abruptly alter his tune? If you lied before, you will do so again. My father used to say that while you can monitor a thief, you can't watch a liar. And with him, you can't tell what's true and what's not. I don't believe you can believe anything. If you believe that about Philip Schofield, I believe you may be slightly mistaken. Not only should Philip go, but Holly should also follow him out the door, he said. You probably won't ever see Holly back on the couch. Dame Carolyn McCall, Kevin Ligo, IDV's director of television, Emma Gormley, and Martin Frizzle, the editor of This Morning, are all seriously questioned by Holmes' interventions. Last night, Eamon said to colleague GB News host Dan Wooten that he had made the decision to speak up for people who hadn't got a voice. He said that the younger guy whose identity Malin Line has chosen to withhold had been severely injured by Schofield and implied that he was a victim of the man he called a chief narcissist. He explained, he clearly stayed the night on Thursdays when he and Philip went out to play. Records demonstrate that he was brought in the next day in different automobiles purchased by it v. He described the younger guy as lovely and a really good talented fella, and claimed that the Friday morning cab ride to work was a cover-up by ITV executives. If Philip didn't pay the invoices individually, it would still need to go via the account's office, the man explained. Yesterday, Schofield posted on Instagram to defend himself and the program he has hosted for more than 20 years. I feel free to say this now that I am no longer employed by this morning. I'm sure you've observed that the strongest voices always tend to come from the same small group of folks who have something against me or the program. The best cast members may be seen working on this morning. There was never any toxicity for the entire time I worked there. On Wooten's program last night, Holmes responded to the assertion and attacked co-host Holly Willoughby of Schofield's. He stated Schofield was so impolite, 
What world does this man live on, I wonder, with all this gibberish he posted today about poison, it's a lovely place, and whatever, he made it such that everyone despised him and avoided him in the hallway. He didn't look at anybody and didn't know anyone's name. Holly is also illiterate when it comes to names. The production crew considers their disinterest and lack of concern to be legendary. Schofield, according to Holmes, would bring his ex-girlfriend back to his $1 million apartment in a posh building at White City in West London. According to reports, the couple arrived through a nearby hotel to allay any rumors of their illicit liaisons. Schofield confessed to lying about the connection on Friday, causing ITV to collapse and losing millions of pounds in advertising agreements as a result. Holmes also said that Phil's ex-lover, whom he called a lovely fellow but added that life is tough for him, was still in contact with his wife Ruth Langsford. ITV's crisis, according to Holmes, is being completely covered up. Those in charge needed to be aware. They needed to be aware of what was happening and believed they could avoid danger, which they did and continue to do. All I'm here to do is speak on behalf of people who hadn't had a voice, the speaker declares. ITV has been contacted by mail in line for comment. Philip is not in a good position right now, according to individuals close to Schofield who spoke about the interview last night. If Eamon Holmes wants to treat someone in Philip's situation that way, I believe that speaks more about Eamon than it does about Philip. Kevin Ligo, managing director of media and entertainment at IDV, resisted questions about Schofield when confronted by a GB News producer while walking down the street. When questioned if the encounter had been covered up outside of a station, Mr. Ligo walked away and said, We really have no more to say. ITV has remained certain that an inquiry was conducted in 2020 in response to rumors that Schofield had an affair with a younger male staffer. Despite the broadcaster's insistence that both parties were questioned, sources close to Schofield's former partner said yesterday night that he was never questioned about the incident. Prior to their interview with GB News, Holmes and former IDV employee and Mail on Sunday writer Wooten promised to reveal the real story behind Schofield's affair. A falsehood unchecked becomes the truth, tweeted Holmes. Not under my supervision, Pip. This evening is dedicated to all of my co-workers throughout the years who have been intimidated and disregarded by you and your tyrannical behavior. All of you who nobody paid attention, I'm here to help. And he continued, I'm just telling the truth in the face of a coercive controller, he said. It's unclear exactly to whom he was referring when he used the term coercive controller. Schofield broke his silence yesterday, criticizing a handful of people with persistently loud voices, and denying charges that the program was toxic. The 61-year-old broadcaster said on Instagram, Now that I no longer work on this morning, I am free to say this. I hope you've observed that the strongest voices tend to come from the same small group of folks who have something against me or the program, with the finest staff, this morning is the best program to work on. No toxicity existed for the entire time I work there. You're welcome to listen to those loud noises that keep coming. But it is a family of lovely, creative, kind, hard-working people, as the thousands of guests throughout the years, the thousands of employees and crew, and the hundreds of presenters and contributors all know. Shortly after making the comment, Holmes, who has long criticized Schofield, published his own opinions. Schofield has just released a ridiculous statement, the 63-year-old tweeted. I'm hesitant to expose the liar further, but trust me, Pip, if you're ready for a fight, you've selected the wrong guy. He posts it to Instagram stories as Holly does so that if something goes wrong, there won't be a record after 24 hours. Although he and Schofield were never friends, they respected one another's broadcasting approach us and collaborated in a professional capacity. However, the relationship between the two broke down in 2019 after Holmes's wife Ruth Langsford filed a formal complaint against Schofield for interrupting her as she was outlining what will be covered on her segment of this morning. Guys, we're going to have to go in there and stop you, I'm afraid. We're a little short on time at this end, Schofield remarked. Ruth, thank you, Langsford said, evidently unimpressed. Well, I only had about two more words to say.
by telling the Daily Mail's weekend magazine that his wife was one of several people in the television profession who had been snubbed by the host. Holmes publicly criticized Schofield on the subject in February 2022. Philip is known for snubbing people, he continued. He uses a lot of passive aggression. Ruth is free to express her feelings, but I was hurt for her. No one would have treated me that way. Presenters who believe they have a particular privilege, aura, or influence are not welcome in my book. The interview from last night comes a day after DR. Ranj Singh, a former resident physician on This Morning, criticized the show for having a toxic culture. When he was still working on the program two years ago, he claimed to have expressed concerns about bullying and discrimination, but he felt that he had been managed out for whistleblowing. Dr. Ranch claimed that because of his extensive involvement in diversity, anti-bullying, and mental health projects throughout the channel, he brought up his concerns with senior IDV management. Then, he said, I discovered myself being used less and less. I even took my concerns directly to the top of ITV. The culture at this morning had changed and was no longer consistent with IDV values, and I felt like I was managed out because I was so blee. However, as history and experience have taught us, it may be very difficult to establish things like bullying and discrimination, especially in the afterwards and when the people in power are in charge of the narrative. No review or probe is impenetrable, as we've seen. We are saddened to read DR. Range's message today, an IDV spokeswoman responded to his post, ITV is totally dedicated to giving everyone who works with us the chance to voice any concerns or suggestions they may have. Following DR, Range's complaint, we asked an outside, impartial advisor to conduct a review. There was no proof of bullying or prejudice, according to this independent study. Since Schofield revealed in a statement to the Daily Mail on Friday that he had misled ITV, his attorneys, his talent agency, and his co-star of 14 years about his romance with a younger colleague, this morning has been in the news. With fresh images showing Schofield in 2018 leaving a This Morning Live event with his ex-girlfriend and Ms. Willoughby, the controversy showed no signs of abating last night. Arnold Clark, the largest sponsor of This Morning, stated it will not extend its multi-million pound agreement with the network this fall. According to a source who spoke to The Sun, there is a lot of conjecture regarding This Morning's future and several workers are worried about their employment. ITV is currently experiencing a problem that it has never experienced before as a result of Phil's admission of deception. It is well known among staff members that since Phil's affair became public, they have lost almost £2 million in sponsorship arrangements. Brands don't feel like ITV is a safe bet right now. Another insider informed the Mirror that the exec's careers and the program itself will be desperately tried to be saved in the coming weeks. Even though he confessed lying to all of them, the top brass is being blamed, ITV executives are anxious to show that the brand is stronger than any one presenter and that they can give the program a fresh start following Schofield, despite the fact that the show's wholesome reputation has been severely damaged. Ms. Willoughby is reportedly fighting to keep her presenting job on the program and wants to survive the scandal. She hasn't been on the air since Schofield abruptly left, although this was because of a trip she had booked for the school half-term break. On Monday, the presenter, who has led the program for 14 years, is anticipated to return. She is, however, also receiving calls from viewers asking her to leave the program. Former Cultural Secretary Nadine Dorries says the popular broadcaster has questions to answer.